Hey guys, this is Substitute 541 and I'm gonna show you how to make a circular flash preloader. Using no tweening at all, on the Flash Builder's version we use tweening and uses considerable amount of space. This uses and this uses rotations and masks and some masks. Not actually layer masks, just some shape masks, something like that. And this is the part 1. In part 1, we'll show you how to make the graphic elements and the symbols needed for the part 2, which is, it shows you how to code, how to code it all. First, let's see what we're doing here. Let's test Star Movie. And you see I have a Toyota Supra image. Simulated download using download settings 56k. Because this is a very large file. It's simulated download. And you can see here, it loads continuously, and I made some graphic stuffs here, notches. We're not gonna do that now. We're just gonna add bevels and stuff like that. I will just. We're not gonna add bevels. We're gonna make the basic shape. See here, it works. We're gonna make the basic shape of it. If you want, if you know how to turn those graphic elements into symbol and add filters, and good for you. I'm not gonna do that right now. First, let's make a new file. I'm gonna save this, turn this to preloader. I'm gonna change the background to black. Make it this very quick because I have less time. It's only about 10, the limit is only 12 minutes long. So, yeah, make, first make 6 layers. I have layer 1, layer 2, layer 3, layer 4, layer 5, layer 6. I'm gonna add a folder just to group it. I'm gonna name it Loader. Select all these layers. Move it to Loader. For first layer, lock it. Name it. Name this Actions. Here's this is where where Actions will be. And I'm gonna add a comment. These are the actions. These are the these are the and this, these are actions that's good enough layer 5 name it front and lay in layer 4 name this front loader part you need you don't need to name it thus long you can abbreviate it but this time here I'm out to it and this in the fifth layer or layer and the layer 3 in the labels here name it mask and layer 2 here name this back loader part layer 6 or layer 1 here name this BG first let's since we're doing graphic elements we're go first gonna work with the front let's zoom in double click the hand tool I'm gonna roughly switch. Uh, I'm gonna make a circle. I want a white circle. Oh wait, no. Oval primitive. Semi circle. Over primitive. A close over primitive. Primitive center. In CS3, there's no align panel, so you have to eyeball it or just divide the stage within stage height to get to align it to the, to the stage. In CS4 and above, there's the line panel, so you can easily move it. First, click the center dot until the cursor changes. Move this, move the center point outwards. So you're gonna create a ring. Make another circle. This time I'm gonna use oval tool. We don't need oval primitive. We just want a closed circle. And let's ch change it there. And the over primitive. I'm gonna expand this more. So we have more space for our loading bar. So that's our load. That's our front part. I'm gonna come. And that's our front part. Let's lock it. In the front loader, choose over primitive. No, 
in a radius set to zero. In the end, in the start angle, na change it to ninety. In the end angle, change it to two seventy. So you're gonna create a semicircle. Change it to the color you want. The loader to be. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna choose red. I'm gonna align it to the center. Sort of. I just had to eyeball it. Let's see. Hmm, I'm gonna convert it to symbol. Name it name this loader part because this is part of the loader. Make sure it's it's a movie clip. I'm gonna shorten this. Make sure it's a movie clip with a registration point at the right center of this three times three matrix. After that, you just center it. Wait. Try to center it. Our original stage with this part here was 550 yes 550 so 550 divided by 2 you can add an operation here 550 divided by divided by 2 or slash 2 it will ultimately calc automat automatically calculate it give it an instance name of loader part see here copy this unview this now let's create the mask first break this apart by pressing ctrl b or right click break apart so it's now an over primitive change it to the color of the background you want the background you want and it might not be visible but it, there's a bit of gray semicircle and in the back loader and view this press ctrl shift b change the change this name to b b loader Part and view this. Change it to B. Change it to F loader part. So we have F loader part and P loader part. And view the mask. View this. And now we unview all of this except the front. We're gonna make the background. So just set the white corner. Try to do it like that. Select this. Wait. Why does an oval to have these options? Strange. I'm just gonna center it using the align panel. There's some gaps. Close this off. And now view all layers. Lock the BG. And that's our basic framework for the preloader. And that's our basic framework for the preloader. Let's see, I have enough time. I'm going to show you how to customize, how to add some detail to it. First, I'm going to unveil all of this. In the front, I'm going to select all of it. I'm going to convert it to symbol. I'm gonna name it with a registration point at the center. I'm gonna name it front. You don't need to do this, this will actually consume a lot of space. Unless you're in a fast computer with a fast, or if you add this on a fast server. That seems pleasing. I'm gonna also add a glow. Red glow is it my style. I'm gonna add a green glow. And I'm just gonna glow it like that. Somehow just that looks good, mud. That's not natural. That's a that's a nice green glow to it. View all that again. Now we got our our loader. That's the basic loader part. I'll see in part two we will cover how to script it so we're gonna change this line comment 
and so real cold. So guys, I'll see you at part two. So yeah, see you guys in part two.